My first time making a video in my backyard and it's like it's 97 degrees right now and it's 7 o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't think it's 97 degrees. Let me double check. My watch said 97, but all right, so it's 96 degrees, but that's Texas for you guys. YouTube, what's up? I pay 92 here. Today, I want to share with you guys some knowledge of what I do to perfect my craft. Uh, as many of you, many of you don't know, I've been cutting for about 15 years, 15, 16 years, and in order for me to keep up with the trends, I guess you can say, which I mean, I don't think I'm old or nothing like that, but if I want to keep up with the trends and I want to keep getting better and better and better, it's hard to to get better if you don't if you're not willing to learn and change some things that you do. So um, I want to show you guys my 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 the process that I go through to get better at my craft. So one of the things that I've done over time and I realize it it's, it's helped me a lot is uh, I will I will focus on one aspect of, of my craft uh, at a time and I work on that for like two three weeks maybe a month and so for example I would like say I want to get better at edge up I would take like a whole week two weeks three weeks and uh, that's all I would focus on is, is, is edge ups and I'm the only thing I'm worried about is getting better so what I'll do is I'll observe what I'm doing evaluate it see what I can do that could be better and then implement it and just keep trying different things I watch videos I watch different barbers techniques uh, I'll incorporate different things uh, enhancements sometimes if you know if that's something that you're into just but so I would do that for edge ups I'll do that for like a good two three weeks and the main focus is to get better in that area so I will focus on my edge ups and then once I feel like I've gotten better at that, I would move over to my blends, so my fades, the gradient. So what I would do is uh, the exact same thing that I would do with, with edge ups. I would watch some videos. I would evaluate what I'm doing now. Is it getting me the results that I wanted, that I want? Is this, are the fades coming out super crispy like I want them to, or could they be better? So I will evaluate that and I'll take some extra steps to see what I can do better. Maybe try some different techniques maybe try playing around with the guidelines a little bit maybe you know setting different different spaces in between the guidelines uh, trying different clippers uh, different maybe I'll try to do detachable blends like face with detachable with a detachable uh, clipper I'll try to do a blend with detachable clippers uh, I'll just try all kinds of different things and anything that's gonna make my craft make that area of my craft better which is blending I'm just gonna keep trying and trying once I feel like I've gotten better at that I'll switch to the next next aspect which would be probably like uh, maybe like scissor cuts on top maybe just focus on, on, on using scissors and styling and technique there's a lot of videos out there uh, to teach you more about that and uh, you, you should use YouTube to your advantage there's plenty of videos teaching you all kinds of techniques in every aspect of so yeah, I'll, I will focus on that, and then once I'm once I'm I, I go through the, uh, the the actual process of cutting, you know, somebody's hair, all the different faces of it. I would evaluate uh, my customer service, the experience that I'm putting out from the moment that a client decides they want me to cut their hair, or the, or they're looking for a barber. Like, what steps do they have to take in order for them to book an appointment with me? So I will evaluate that whole process and see what steps I can do to make that process easier, uh, streamline it, make it better, make it a better overall uh, user experience for them. And this is where this is like this is where booking sites come into play because I know some barbers don't like to use online booking. And I mean no no that's no knock to them. That's cool. But if you evaluate that aspect of your business, if you evaluate your uh, user experience, your customer experience, your client experience, you're gonna realize that online booking is gonna elevate elevate the experience that much more. And maybe that's something that you've been lacking in, and that's why you're not well-rounded. Maybe your haircuts are really, really, really good, but it's hard for clients to get in with you because you're unorganized. It's hard for them to book with you because you don't have online booking. They gotta wait for you to text them back, and you got a million texts on your phone of people trying to get in, or a million DMs so I think it's important to evaluate that part of your craft of your business too and make sure that you're improving it and if it means uh, incorporating online booking you should give it a try you know and uh, try online booking right now try it for a month 
two months and then go back and evaluate you know has your business grown because of that and if it hasn't grown then you know you can just shut it down and don't do online booking if you feel like it doesn't help you out but don't do it for two days three days where your clients are barely getting acclimated to it and you're already like nah this ain't, ain't gonna work give it give it a month give it two months give your clients time to get used to it i promise you 85 95 percent of barbers right now are doing online booking if you're not doing online booking you're you're probably you're a little behind right now i'm just gonna be honest with you guys and there's nothing wrong if, if you got a system that works and all your clients like it then i mean that's cool but you should try to improve it you know that, that that's all i'm saying but yeah that's just um that's just some of the tips some of the stuff that i do uh in order for me to keep growing is i keep i keep evaluating myself and i keep checking what what area can i grow in like maybe I'm, i haven't been satisfied with the way like my blends have been coming out so guess what i'm gonna dedicate a whole week two weeks to just figuring that out figuring out why the blend isn't how i want it to be how can i make it better how can i make it smoother like what steps can i take what am i doing now and what should i be doing to get the better result that i'm looking for and i feel like if you do this constantly you're constantly going to be leveling your whole business up your whole craft you're constantly going to keep improving and i'm doing this now like i've been i've been in the game so long i've been cutting hair for so long but to this day I'll still be on YouTube looking at videos, looking at other barbers. There's barbers that just started cutting hair and they're doing something right, something looks good, and I wanna know what it is. I wanna learn from them. Cause you can you can learn from everybody. There's always somebody out there that you can learn something from. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use YouTube to my advantage. I'm gonna use social media, Instagram, I'm gonna look at all of that. If somebody is posting something, if somebody does really, really, really nice, sharp lineups, edge ups, if somebody uses enhancements like perfect perfectly. Uh, I, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see how they do it. I'm gonna try to learn from them and incorporate that into my craft. The whole purpose is to become better as a barber and uh, uh, as a businessman. You need to you need to improve the whole experience. It all goes you know hand in hand. It all goes together. With that being said, touch a little bit on the on the business side. Uh, it takes a lot of discipline to become a barber, to be disciplined, to make yourself show up to work. Because if you really think about it, when, when we had regular jobs, when we worked for somebody, if our bosses told us like, hey, you need to be at work at 7 o'clock in the morning, whether you hate it, whether you, you talk trash, you complain, guess what, you're going to be there at 7 in the morning to make him money, to make his business money, right? So now that you're self-employed, you feel like you can slack off, like now it's your money that you're making. Now you're working for yourself, you're your own boss. Why would you not? Put in that effort to get yourself in and just grind it out. You know what I mean? That same that same energy that you put towards a job that you were so committed, so dedicated, and you were just making somebody else rich. Now this is for you. Now you're your own boss. Now you're coming in at seven for you. All that money's going to you. Now you're staying late for you. You know what I mean? And you should look at it that way. You should be more disciplined. And it's it's a little harder because you know you you don't run the risk of getting fired like you would at a regular job. Like hey, you got to show up at. Uh, 6:30 in the morning, morning, and if you don't show up, then you're fired. You know what I mean? Whereas in as a barber, you're like, oh yeah, I'll just cancel on my 6:30. Worst case scenario is you'll lose a client, and which I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't take that lightly, but it's not. It's hard. It's hard for you to stay disciplined when you don't. You don't have the risk of being fired like that. You're your own boss. No matter what you do, you're not gonna get fired. I know a lot of barbers that any regular job they would have been fired by now. They're that that lazy and that you know unorganized, and they just they treat it like a hobby. And I feel like if you treat it like a hobby, you're not gonna get the results from it that you should. You know you should treat it serious. Be a little more disciplined. You know and, and, and take it serious. Take your job serious. This is gonna feed your family. This is gonna provide for your family. This is gonna put you in a, a better place in your life financially if you do it right. There's a lot of money involved, and you guys should, you know, take advantage of that. But yeah, that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I got my iPad. I just I write ideas every, every time I think of something. I try to write it down because if not, I'll probably forget about it. And that's just something that I had on my list, and I was like, man, I need to make a video about. It. Don't ever stop improving your craft. Don't ever think that you're you're that good because you're you're never you're never gonna be in a level where you don't you don't need to learn anything no more. Some of the greatest greatest barbers on YouTube, on Instagram, they're still they're still learning man. Like I watch some of their videos and they're like, alright, I'm gonna figure this haircut out. Next time it's gonna be better. Uh, it's just you just you're never you're you're never that good. You should always be trying to level yourself up. Not don't worry about the other barber. Don't worry about 
if he's using paint, he's using enhancements, don't worry about none of that. They ain't got nothing to do with you. If somebody is using enhancements and all that, that's between them and their client. They ain't got nothing to do with you. If, if you want to use them, fine. If you don't want to use them, that's fine too. But, you know, you shouldn't have time to worry about what the other barber is doing. You should only worry about improving your craft and making sure you're getting better at your business. You know what I mean? And, and cutting hair. That's what, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Can you provide good customer experience? And can you provide a quality haircut? You can do those things, you're gonna be good. But that's it, that's all I have for you guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, it's my first time making a video in my backyard. And uh, it's kind of crazy because I should have did this like in the fall because it's summertime right now. And it's like, it's 97 degrees right now. And it's seven o'clock in the afternoon. So, I don't think it's 97 degrees, let me double check. My watch says 97, but all right, so it's 96 degrees. But that's Texas for you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, what every other YouTuber tells you to do. Like and subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Comment what you want to see next.